Masataka-sama! Aya! It's all right now, Aya. You're safe. Thank you so very much. But being that you're a martial artist of that caliber, you shouldn't act so cocky. What... what does that caliber mean? You're a martial artist of that caliber. Nagi! Don't act so cocky! <laughs> Try this! Stop! Stop it! I mean it! Stop! It was just a dream. It started out being a really good dream. I didn't know that you were in here. You're sure up early. That's right. The reason I had a dream like that is all because of where I'm staying right now. The Jukin Club is currently using the Golden Week break to hold a training camp here at the Natsume residence. some slack. I understand it. Inside my head, it all makes sense. If I move the point of impact halfway down on the metal plate, in theory, the pan should just stay in one place. I got the concept down, but... Well, it won't do you any good using brain power you don't have. If you keep going along at this rate, you won't eat again today. Oh, come on. We're going on day three now. I can't believe this. You can't even do a backhand. They also call the backhand the bar fist, or as it's referred to in Chinese, the tsuhai ken. It's difficult to put the concept of shifting the impact point and the focal point into words, but when you become a master, you are able to concentrate your power to any location that you desire. Controlling the flow, strength, and quality of your power is the key principle of Aiki. Humans, heaven and earth, yin and yang, the five elements, if the world moves, it creates yang. If it is still, it creates yin. Form creates chi, chi creates god. Realize that Takayanagi and you are not that far apart when it comes to your basic physical abilities. What you lack is the concept and the focus that allows you to control that power. I need more focus, huh? So, what do you want me to do next? I ran the 20 kilometers like you asked. In exactly one hour and ten minutes. Even a marathon runner would be impressed. You're quite fortunate to be physically gifted. You have the height, the limber muscles, and the jumping ability that is quite unique to your genetics. You need to run and run some more. Feed your muscles with as much oxygen as possible. That alone will make you stronger. All right. When it comes to body, soul, and mind, you're both in the developmental stage. It is possible for you two to go back to square one and start over again. I haven't seen my sister look this happy in a really long time. Hmm. And I can't believe that they're all out here this early. I'm looking forward to this summer. Me too. So Ryozaki was beaten. Yes, by Maya Natsume. Hmm. There's more. She has also gone ahead and allowed those two freshmen to join the Jukin Club. She's disobeyed the Executive Council. I was initially given a quite simple task. Annihilate these two freshmen here. But if they've joined the Jukin Club, then this gets much better. This is now an opportunity to destroy my nemesis, the Jukin Club. I'm counting on you. This is for your precious little pro wrestling fan club. <laughs> One more thing. We need to make sure he's held responsible for his actions. I think I was quite clear when I said there was no room for error. I understand. I will enforce the order and rules of this academy. All right, come on, everyone. Food's ready. Let's go. I'm so hungry. 
Once again, boy, this meal is not for you. What? No lunch either? I bet that goes for dinner, too. <sighs> Bingo! The camp oh, seems to be, be going quite me. well. I'm yes, it does. Is everything all right? Penny. Seems I'm like there's something boy. on your mind. Well, it's the Executive too. Council. I, I doubt that they're going to take this issue lightly. But the Executioner, he's already carried out that ridiculous punishment they gave to them. Well, I crushed that Ryuzaki guy. Huh? Will that be a problem? The Jukin Club and the Executive Council... I know the issue here. Well, this is a surprise. Is there a problem, Masataka? Miss Isuzu, I need to see my brother. Well, whatever for? I would like to speak to my brother. I didn't say that I wished to speak to you. Too bad your brother, or rather the President, does not wish to speak with you. And you know very well the reason why. Hmm. Oh, right. I almost forgot. The President asked that I relay a message. Come back when you're no longer wearing diapers. Well, if the kid came all the way out here, I don't see what it would hurt to see him. Right, Mitsuomi? Are you trying to tell me what to do? Bunshichi. Hmm. I was led to believe it was the advisor's job to state his opinions to the president. What you really should be hating is the Jukin Club, not the individual actions of your little brother. <laughs> but that's not actually true either. The only one to really hold a grudge against is Sheen. Natsume. <laughs> Bunshichi. I don't want to hear you mention that name in front of me again. Huh. I gotta say, this is an amazing house. It even has an outdoor bath. It's just fantastic. How's it feel to be a rich girl, Miss Natsume? I'm far from a rich girl. See the previous master of the family? Went through most of our savings in the house and lands all we got left. But having you here, Miss Chiaki, really has been a big help. My sister can't cook, and it's always a huge chore for me to do it by myself. <laughs> you know, Miss Chiaki, you're very pretty. It makes me jealous. That's very sweet. But Aya, hearing that come from you sounds a little insincere. Huh? You know, Aya, you're a very attractive girl. What? I don't think I'm attractive at all. I can barely get Soichiro-sama to acknowledge that I exist! That's because Nachan doesn't realize how attractive you really are, Aya. He's just a fool for a fight. But when it comes to girls, I've seen kindergartners with better skills. If you want something to happen, you have to take the lead. Kinda like this. <gasps> Wait, stop! <sighs> Please, stop. I guess I got a little carried away. Wait, Miss Chiaki! Miss Chiaki, get a hold of yourself! What the? What's this? So now the frying pan behind the one you're hitting is starting to move instead? Yeah, I know. What's up with that? I'm so hungry that all my power just goes straight down to the bottom of my stomach. I don't know, maybe that caused it. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Maybe it's just, just something to do with the night. Just air. keep quiet and Whatever watch. Captain. I was fasting him to try and get some chi in his abdomen. I guess this is something unexpected that was just waiting to happen. Take a look. This boy has absolutely no idea what an amazing feat he's managed to accomplish. What he did goes way beyond the level of just doing a simple backhand. It's possible that the boy really will end up doing it. Hmm. In three months, he just may become stronger than any of us. I gotta take the lead if I want Soichiro-sama to notice me. Oh, Soichiro-sama. I wonder where Soichiro-sama has gone. I can't find Sis either.
This kimono belongs to my sister. time in a while I worked up a sweat. Would you like to come in too? Don't be ridiculous! Now get out of there! I was up all night with that boy. If this keeps up, he's really going to exhaust me. Soichiro-sama, I've been looking everywhere. Where is he? Have you seen him around? He's over there, sound asleep. Uh, he's shirtless. She's shirtless. <laughs> now, now, what are you imagining, Aya? Use your power. That's what your dragon's eye is for, or perhaps this is just your woman's intuition. You should trust your power. In fact, you should be proud of it. Huh? This boy. If you hadn't claimed him as your fiance, I may have fallen in love with him. <sighs> I'm only joking. Sorry if I upset you. <laughs> but but sis you Come on, they summon me in the middle of Golden Week? So I come all the way out here and this is what they give me? <laughs> well, I'm not going easy on you. Ah! Bring them all on! Even if she was joking, my sister has never said anything like that before. If you hadn't claimed him as your fiancé, I may have fallen in love with him. I wonder what exactly happened between the two of them last night. <laughs> <sighs> they sure don't think much of me, do they? Even behind masks, I know who you are. Right, Sasaki and Yoshida from Class B? I'm really surprised that guys like you have got the nerve to try and ambush me. <sighs> I hope you little boys are prepared for the hell I intend to release on you. The only one who will see hell is going to be you, Ryozaki. <laughs> this is not going to be an ambush. This is going to be your punishment. Sakura! On this campus, the presence of the Executioner is a representation of the law itself. If the Executioner is defeated, then the law suffers the same blow. The sin you have committed is far too great to ignore. Mr. Sagara! Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> oh, you are so dead now. You are so dead! There won't even be child remains left, Sakura! Because you choose to rely on such childish magic tricks, you forget the true nature of martial arts, and then fall victim to someone like Natsume. <sighs> One more thing! Right now, I am not Sakura! Huh? The second I put this mask on my head, I become the most violent executioner this campus has seen! Meet Saga Mask! Just keep babbling till you die, jackass! Don't! Ryozaki, I've just got one last thing to say to you. The basic principles of martial arts are actually quite simple. There is no need for this use of chi like you and Natsume insist on using. All humans, even the best martial artists, do not have the ability to control their bones. There's exactly 206 bones in the body, and a whole lot of places to break them! Now while I personally make sure that those two freshmen are taken care of, you will be busy counting the ceiling tiles in your hospital room. You... you were very impressive, Mr. Sut. 
Mr. Sagamas, you did away with Riyazaki in a matter of seconds. Aren't you guys getting ahead of yourselves? Haven't you two forgotten something rather important? Oh, oh, that's right. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Ah! I can't hear you from the bottom of your gut. It looks like she's still asleep. Guess I was too. I don't even remember falling asleep. Um, why is my head in her lap? Try to feel the flow of chi more, then control it. If you accomplish that, you can do something like this. Once again, that is a very impressive modification. What are you talking about? What you're looking at now is my true form. Hmm. I didn't know that. The reason I normally take on the form of a child is to hold back the unwanted release of Chi. Oh. But then why the hassle? It's the way that I've chosen to train. There's a certain man I wish to defeat at any cost. Mitsuomi. Oh. Huh? Uh... Well, I guess you don't have any time to lose then, huh? All right, you and me are working together until morning. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> so, Ichiro-sama? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you up just now? No, I was just... Did... Did I just imagine that? How'd that happen? So Ichiro-sama seems so... so different than he was yesterday. Oh, hey, guess what I heard? That midget girl? I heard her real shape is actually that tall chick. Oh, um, yeah, that's right. It's amazing how ridiculously strong she is. And unlike me, that chick's really smart. She seems to know everything. But you know, there's something about her that I think is just exactly like me. <gasps> Going around acting all tough, so much so that she's even picked a fight with her own body. She's so cool. So... So Ichiro-sama... What are... Well, I can't hang out all day. I gotta keep practicing. <laughs> For the first time ever, I've come to despise this training camp and this uncontrollable power of mine. I have no desire to see something that I don't want to see. My sister is slowly creeping inside Soichiro-sama's heart. I wish this useless power of mine would just go away. <laughs> <laughs> 